Hi, this is Marcia Jean's Instructional Technology Specialist, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the video player that comes with Smart Notebook 10.0. Now, the Smart Video Player can play certain types of files. These are the most common files that you'll find that you could use within the video player. You could play AVI, ASX, and ASF. Those are United Streaming file types, or Discovery Streaming is now what they're called. Uh, Windows Media Videos and QuickTime Movies. You can even create a playlist in your uh, video player. Let me show you how it works. To access the video player, you're going to come down to the Smart Board icon in the system tray and you're going to click on Video Player. And a new window appears. Now there's a couple ways you can start playing a video. One way is you can do what is a drag and drop. Okay. I have some videos in this folder here and I'm going to simply drag and drop one into this screen area. That's one way to do it. Okay. Now, another way is to simply, I'm going to pause this just for a second. Another way is to come up here to file and open and then go search for your video. All right. So we've already got one playing and I'm going to go ahead and mute that. There's a mute button here as it's playing. I'm going to show you some of the neat features that I've got down here. First of all, if I wanted to, I could take notes, draw lines on the video as it's playing. Did you notice that the video paused while I was drawing notes? That is a feature that you can set up in the settings of the video player. It's really neat. Now, another thing you can do is you can create a, a little capture or to notebook. So if I click this camera button, what it'll do is it'll capture that screen right there and place that a capture of that screen into Smart Notebook software. All right, so I'm going to do that, and it says saving notes. All right. Um, if I want to play again, I can simply hit play. If I want to delete my notes, I just clicked on the little X here. If I want them to come back, I can click again. All right. Uh, I have several different choices, like I can do if I want to a red note here. Okay, I can choose the line thickness if I want it a little wider. I can do that as well. And, okay, writing wider. If I want to take another screen capture, I can click there and it takes another one as I go. If I want to get rid of notes, voila. I also can go to a full screen mode, and then the little controls are over here. So those are just some of the things that you can do with the smart video player. Now, the settings are right up here under settings. Let me show you what kind of things are in the settings. You can make it so that when you lift either this tool here on the screen or your smart board pin, it will actually pause the video. You can also have it fade out your notes. So if you write something, they will automatically fade and you don't have to erase them. The, t the trick with this is to get in the timing right. Um, I would say you have to really play with it to get the right timing because sometimes they fade out way too fast and sometimes they don't. Um, let's see, we'll have it fade for a couple seconds here. So let me kind of show you how that works. All right, we're going to play the video again. I'll write some notes. Here we go. And in just a few seconds, those notes should start fading out, depending on, there it goes. See? Pretty neat, huh? All right, I'm going to pause that again. So, your choices are you can do the, the capture to the notebook. You can go back to your cursor. You have pen controls. You can delete your notes. You can go full screen. And you, here's the playlist up here on the right. If you want to create and add some videos into a playlist, what it'll do is it'll play one right after the other. Of course, you can pause if you'd like. This is really nice if you are using um, United Streaming. If you have several related clips and you want to show one after the other, you don't have to go hunting for them. So you can see that this has a great advantage over just the regular uh, video player that you might have on your computer. I highly recommend that you use it. Hope you enjoyed the video.